Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install games applications on your Oculus Quest using something called Side Quest. It's a lot easier than going through, you know, stuff something like, like ADB link, you know, sorting out drivers, like they just handle everything for you. This is a tutorial on how to do it on Mac. I will have videos covering the Linux and the Windows versions as well. So you obviously need a rip, I mean a Oculus Quest, we need a Mac. You will also need a USB type C cable depending on the computer you are using. You may or may not be able to use a cable that is bundled with the Quest because the Quest one is USB C to USB C. One end obviously goes into the Quest, but if you are using let's say a slightly older computer or laptop, you'll probably just have old style USB A connectors, no that typical connector that can't be reversed. If that's the case, you will need to get another cable. Or if you've got a Android phone, you might already have a cable and then you can use that. I'm using my OnePlus cable. Okay, so once you've got that done, what we need to do is go online and create a, we need to go to Oculus Developer. And I'll provide links to everything that you will need. And then from here, I need to just quickly log in. It's going to log me in using Facebook. Okay, so uh, okay, so once you are logged in, you want to go to the manage section, and you want to go to create new organization. I've already got it. You know, a fair few organizations created, so you, you can name it whatever you want. It says it will be displayed publicly in the store. That's if you create application. But well, this is just for the developer side. So I'm going to say random 12345XYZ, let's say Mac, for example. I understand. Yes. Click submit. And yes. Boom. Done. Okay. So once you've done that, what we need to do is switch over to our phone. You know, whatever phone is connected to your Oculus Quest and we need to enable developer mode so let's switch over so you want to go to your oculus app this could be on ios or android doesn't really matter and once you've got this open you want to go to settings and just wait for stuff to load up then you want to select your device which is the first one for me oculus quest it's gonna connect to it as connected Click it again so it drops down click more settings go to developer mode and enable developer mode so at the moment it's enabled if it was like this it would be disabled and like this it is enabled so once that's done we can actually get off okay so now that developer mode is enabled on the oculus quest what we need to do is download SideQuest. So if you Google it, we go to the GitHub link and go to releases and download the latest version. So for me, I want the DMG, this one here, and this was released five days ago. So this is actually going to be a slightly newer version than I've already got. So it'd be a great way of, you know, for me, great opportunity for me to update it. So this won't take very long, as you can see, it is not very big. Hence why I didn't bother downloading it before the video, because it's nah, a few seconds won't really hurt. Okay, so once that's downloaded, if you literally just open it, and we can close the browser down now, and this will mount this, and you want to drag this onto application. You won't get this option, because I've already got it. So that's the reason I you know, have the option to replace it and now we can actually open it up so if we go to applications side quest side quest there we go if we double click that double click it properly and this will launch up the application this is so easy to install games and applications via this and you can also do modifications to Beat Saber, like adding custom songs as well. I'm going to do a separate video covering that. I just want to get all the videos out of the way for setting up SideQuest on all the different, you know, platforms. And now, from here it says, my device is not connected. And so, literally, let's connect it. So, I'm going to connect this up to my Mac. 
and on the quest if you're doing it for the first time it will probably pop up saying do you want to allow connection to this device you know just confirm that and say yes okay there we go it says connected wi-fi ip address etc etc gives us the battery and as well and as you can see there's a bunch of stuff that we can go and we can go to apps we can you know literally install so many different things we can go to you know games so if we go to games see what we have and if you have downloaded the game off the internet and you actually have, you know, I think it's the APK file, you can just drag that onto over here and that will install it as well. So if you have, you know, something downloaded. So let's install Lambda, well, let's install Quake Quest. So if I do that, I mean, like if I literally open it up, go to install latest, install an app. And this shouldn't take long because this is a pretty small one and done there we go it is all done now so let's actually switch to the oculus quest so i'm going to put the quest on i'm going to unplug it so you'll see disconnected in a moment you should do considering i've disconnected it there we go Okay, so I'm just going to go to the gallery. You can't see this yet. I'm just going to hit record. Not gallery, sharing, sorry. Record video. Okay, so we are now recording. And to actually play the game that you installed like this, you go to library, go to unknown sources, and all the games that you, you know have installed will be here. So for me, Quake Quest, if I open that up, And there we go, here is the game. Obviously, you don't need to really go any further than this because you can see that it is working. So that is it for installing games, applications onto your Oculus Quest via the side quest application hack if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message this is much simpler than using like i said you know the driver method and setting all that other stuff up and also because it's pretty similar on the other platforms once you really know how to do it on one you can you'll feel right at home if you switch to windows or linux for example instead of having to do something totally different to get it set up but that's it any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video